Memphis and Shelby County are in a financial mud puddle that could eventually turn into quicksand. Only 60% of the people who live here have filled out their census forms. If that number doesn't get better, the city and county could lose out on billions of dollars and have less political representation in Nashville. Local 24 News reporter Mike Matthews has the story new at 5. Hey, may I tell you something? The year 2020 has been awful so far, and it could get worse. Some members of Shelby County's legislative delegation had a little Friday morning news conference, virtually, of course, and all of them had a similar message. For Shelby County, there's a potential that once they look at all of the uh, population that's been counted, uh, one of our districts will be reallocated to another part of the state. Uh, this means that we'll have less representation at the state capitol. You know, right up until the latter part of the 20th century, the clout and voice of Memphis area politicians was mighty. What our politicians wanted, they normally got. More people lived here than anywhere else. In fact, folks in Nashville referred to it as the great state of Shelby. Not anymore. The slogan of the 21st century Tennessee now is, go east, young man, go east. Our constitution only allows for 99 house seats and for 33 Senate seats. So we don't make more positions. So they put the politicians where the people are, and the money ends up there as well. But to get those seats and that money, people will have to fill out their census forms, and they just aren't doing that. The COVID-19 crisis uh, and the ensuing, uh, that health crisis and the ensuing uh, economic crisis and the, uh, the consequential housing uh, issues uh, our folks have a lot to think about and a lot to work on. Several of these representatives said the same thing. There are two critically important things that you can do this year. You can vote and you can fill out the census. In Memphis, Mike Matthews, Local 24 News.